really a pleasant aroma. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new single malt whiskey from Japan. It's an Akashi. It's half a liter bottle, it's 46% ABV and it's uncolored, unfiltered, wonderful brown, golden brown color and it's, well, around 60 so it's quite expensive for half a liter without an age statement but the Japanese whiskies are always quite expensive. Well why? Uh, the price range inside Japan is quite high and if you're doing the export for just a few bottles uh, to the world then prices add up even more and uh, well this whiskey distillery is really old and uh, it was founded as a sake producer in 1888 in the city of Akashi in the prefecture Hyogo and this is uh, well in the west of Kobe the town which got became famous because of the earthquake they had there and uh, then the east is then Osaka so it's in the south of Japan quite uh, high temperatures quite high humidity close to the sea and uh, they got the license to produce whiskey in 1919 so quite early um, but most of the whiskies went into a blend production and uh, starting from 1984 they started really to produce uh, malt whiskey and uh, well today is the first time I have such a box of a bottle <laughs> in my hands and it looks quite quite interesting yes Japanese single malt whiskey <clears throat> as it is quite often it has a plastic screw cap sherry and uh, the people of Akashi tell that the whiskey matures at first in ex bourbon casks for three years and then for two years as a finishing in ex sherry casks. Um, this one does not carry an age statement. Uh, the three and two years uh, were true for the aged whiskey with five years of age. And this one, I don't know how old it is, at least three years, yes, uh, but uh, how it matured in ex bourbon casks and ex sherry casks, I have no idea. And it is said that these were uh, bourbon hogsheads, so that might be reused bourbon casks. Sherry, sweet, little vanilla, maltiness. So it's a really a pleasant aroma coming out of this whiskey. So this is smooth, mellow, wonderful. And this for only a less than five year old whiskey. It's a wonderful piece of work. A little bit of floral note. Yes. Have a sip. Mm -hmm. Creamy, sweet, and then some oak in the back, biting oak, still sweet. And this oak definitely shows through. Spiciness, oakiness. So 
So this is wonderful in the nose, has a very good taste. And in the aftertaste, the oak is a little bit too strong, from my personal point of view. Perhaps if you have two or three of this one, it might change a little bit. But as always, having a first impression of this whiskey and what I'm finding here, I tell you. So it's not that I had this bottle already in use for a few days and then I'm going into it and remember and think about it and then I give you a final voting. No, uh, this is immediate impact in my mouth and my nose. Yeah, a really elegant, smooth, mellow, sherry, intense single malt whiskey uh, with a little bit of too much of oak in the aftertaste. Mm, it's going already. Probably not too much of oak. Just a bite of oak. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come and feel free to discuss this whiskey with me in our vlog, in our whiskey database.